yeah students uh, now uh, we will see the last topic in our uh, first unit so these are the contents uh, we have seen up to cycloid and uh, now uh, we will discuss how to construct involute involute of square pentagonal circle uh, it is the very simple uh, topic in the entire unit you can easily construct involute pentagon involute of square pentagonal circle so as usual we have to see tangents and normals also so involute the involute is a curve traced traced out by an end of piece of thread unwound from a circle or a polygon the thread being kept tight so this is uh, involute when you just unwound uh, a piece of uh, uh, thread then which is which is uh, wounded originally on a circle when uh, the path traced while unwinding the thread then that uh, path is known as involute so here it may also be defined as a curve traced out by a point in a straight line which rolls out without slipping along a circle or a polygon so polygon circle both we are going to discuss here and uh, this is the involute curve involute of uh, a circle and uh, involute is a actually profile uh, especially used in uh, gear teeth design so this is the problem statement draw the involute of a circle of radius 50 mm draw a tangent and normal at any point on the curve so as usual uh, we have to complete the problem of, uh, with uh, drawing the tangent and normal so this is the circle uh, the, the radius of the circle is uh, 50 mm given and uh, this is uh, the divisions so i am dividing this circle into eight equal parts eight equal parts just i am giving notations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 in anti clockwise direction i am giving the notations and as usual the perimeter uh, you can calculate it is pi d or 2 pi r so i am dividing this guiding line into guiding line or generating line into eight number of parts so just i am giving the numbers here so here this is the unwinding path so one is here two is here three four five six seven and eight so now you take one minus suppose if it is n n minus one so n minus one so one to p distance one to p distance you can take and to this line one five line you can draw a perpendicular line with the length of 1 to p so that much length you can use and from 6 to line this is the 6 to line a 90 degree line you can draw from 2 to p 2 to p and from 3 to 7 line you can take 3 to p distance and you can draw a line you can draw a tangent line to that point at 90 degrees to the the dividing line so from 4 h 4 8 you take 90 degree line from 4 to 8 you measure and with that distance you can draw from 5 1 line draw the similar line by taking the distance from 5 to 8 and from 6 2 you can draw a vertical line you have to take the distance from 6 to 8 6 to 8 similarly from 7 to 8 or 7 to p you can take distance and you can draw the line now 7 to 8 7 to 8 this distance you can take as radius now 7 as center you can draw an arc you can draw an arc similarly 6 as center 6 to 8 distance or 6 to p distance you can take you can draw one more arc to till seventh line similarly five fifth point as the center and uh, five to p distance as radius and you can draw the arc to join here similarly four to p four to p distance you can take you can draw an arc 
so likewise you can complete the involute curve so it is uh, very simple so now you can draw the arcs with the uh, compass very conveniently and you can draw the involute so now to draw this you can take this as center this as center this much as radius and you can draw this arc and now one as center this much as radius you can draw this arc and two as center you can draw this arc you can continue that up to seventh line seventh line you will get the involute curve so this is a very simple involute curve to draw the tangent and normal you take a point anywhere on the curve so now my point is here now this point should be connected to center of the circle to start with connect that point to the center of the circle so mark the midpoint of this qc qo line qc or qo whatever may be the notation for the center you can just connect you can draw a line and mark the center and now this as center draw the semicircle draw the semicircle now this semicircle intersects this circle this circle this circle at some somewhere so that point you can take as the origin point to your normal and you can draw a thin line or you can draw straight away thick line no no problem you can draw a thick line and you can complete the normal first so this is the normal and as usual the tangent will be uh, the uh, 90 degree line to normal line so this is the tangent and normal so this is tangent and this becomes normal so this is the procedure to construct involute of a, a circle next we will see the involute of a square so this is the problem statement draw the involute of a square and uh, 40 mm side and uh, draw tangent and normal at any point on the curve so that can be drawn so this is uh, the uh, square it is very still uh, if you see the procedure wise it is a very simple problem to solve and uh, this is 40 mm square now take the a guiding line or we can say generating line this is the generator line generating line we can say and now you can divide this into four equal parts the length is obviously 4 into 40 it is 160 mm 160 mm now this is the four parts now four parts from four from four right just a draw a collinear line and uh, starting from four and that the distance can be taken from these three parts only these three parts can be measured and from four you can draw that line right a collinear line so this is three parts this is three parts from three you can take two parts from three you can take two parts from one you can take two uh, one part from two you can take one part from two second point you can take one part now it is a uh, very simple to draw the curve now to a uh, center uh, to 1 40 mm as radius you can draw the curve arc and uh, now 3 as center 3 to p1 as radius you can draw the arc now 4 as center 4 to p2 as uh, radius p2 as radius you can draw the arc now it is uh, again from 4 to Uh, sorry 1 to p3 right 1 to p3 you can take as radius you can draw the final arc so you will get a very fine curve so the radius is uh, this this line you need to draw in the exam this line is only for uh, your reference it means that this much has taken as radius so this is the curve this is the curve to draw tangent a normal uh, for a point on the curve it is very simple now this is this is the uh, sector this is the sector so to this sector this point is taken as center point to draw the arc so now from this point you just join this you will get the normal and uh, a line 90 degrees to that line becomes the tangent tangent 
so now uh, this is uh, that is the uh, pen uh, square uh, involute and uh, we can see the involute for pentagon also draw the involute of a pentagon of side 35 mm draw a tangent and normal at any point on the curve so it is as similar as your uh, square only draw the pentagon it should be a regular pentagon 1 2 3 4 5 sides and uh, the side is 35 mm and uh, 5 into 35 uh, we get 175 mm so that becomes your generating line and divide that into uh, 5 equal parts and now as usual from 2 you take the 4 parts and you draw this and now from this the, this should be this should be a collinear line 1 2 line should be continued with the, that distance from 3 uh, four, 4 parts 4 parts you can measure on this you can divide this into 5 equal parts and you can measure and you can you can draw a collinear line with the 4 parts distance from 3 to 3 to this side draw a collinear line and uh, this becomes your 3 parts and uh, this is your uh, 2 parts from 4 from 5 it should be 1 part 1 part now it is as usual take 5 as center 5 1 as radius draw the arc now 4 as center this is p1 right you can uh, you can uh, p1 can be taken as uh, the length radius you can draw this arc now this much can be your radius 3 point as center you can draw the arc you can draw this arc now this much as radius from point 2 to this this line this uh, line edge then this can be your radius and 2 as center you can draw this arc now 1 as center the whole uh, thing 175 mm as radius you can draw the final arc now this becomes your involute of pentagon now as usual to draw the uh, uh, normal and tangent repeat the same procedure like we did in a square so this is the point for which i need to draw tangent and normal so to draw this setup i have this this point as center so connect this directly you will get normal and a 90 degree line to that will become tangent so that is uh, the tangent and uh, this is the procedure to draw uh, the tangent and normal and construction of involutes is very simple and uh, if you practice it it will not take more than 7 to 8 minutes to complete one problem thank you thank you students